Open Source Intelligence is data collected from publicly available sources to be used in an intelligence context. In the intelligence community, the term open refers to overt, publicly available sources as opposed to covert or clandestine sources. It is not related to open source software or public intelligence. OSINT under one name or another has been around for hundreds of years. With the advent of instant communications and rapid information transfer, a great deal of actionable and predictive intelligence can now be obtained from public, unclassified sources. Topic: <laughs> Principles. Open source intelligence (OSINT) is the collection and analysis of information that is gathered from public or open sources. OSINT is primarily used in national security, law enforcement, and business intelligence functions and is of value to analysts who use non-sensitive intelligence in answering classified, unclassified, or proprietary intelligence requirements across the previous intelligence disciplines. OSINT sources can be divided up into six different categories of information flow. Media, print newspapers, magazines, radio, and television from across and between countries. Internet, online publications, blogs, discussion groups, citizen media i.e. cell phone videos, and user-created content, YouTube, and other social media websites i.e. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, etc. This source also outpaces a variety of other sources due to its timeliness and ease of access. Public government data, public government reports, budgets, hearings, telephone directories, press conferences, websites, and speeches. Although this source comes from an official source they are publicly accessible and may be used openly and freely. Professional and academic publications, information acquired from journals, conferences, symposia, academic papers, dissertations, and theses. Commercial data, commercial imagery, financial and industrial assessments, and databases. Gray literature, technical reports, preprints, patents, working papers, business documents, unpublished works, and newsletters. OSINT is distinguished from research in that it applies the process of intelligence to create tailored knowledge supportive of a specific decision by a specific individual or group. Topic. Definition OSINT is defined by both the U.S. Director of National Intelligence and the U.S. Department of Defense DOD, as "...produced from publicly available information that is collected, exploited, and disseminated in a timely manner to an appropriate audience for the purpose of addressing a specific intelligence requirement." According to political scientist Jeffrey T. Richelson, open source acquisition involves procuring, verbal, written, or electronically transmitted material that can be obtained legally. In addition to documents and videos available via the Internet or provided by a human source, others are obtained after U.S. or Allied forced have taken control of a facility or site formerly operated by a foreign government or terrorist group. Security researcher Mark M. Lowenthal defines OSINT as any and all information that can be derived from overt collection, all types of media, government reports and other documents, scientific research and reports, commercial vendors of information, the Internet, and so on. The main qualifiers to open source information are that it does not require any type of clandestine collection techniques to obtain it and that it must be obtained through means that entirely meet the copyright and commercial requirements of the vendors were applicable. History OSINT in the United States traces its origins to the creation of the Foreign Broadcast Monitoring Service FBMS, an agency responsible for the monitoring of foreign broadcasts. An example of their work is reflected in the application of the correlation of changes in the price of oranges in Paris with that of railway bridges being bombed successfully. The Aspen Brown Commission stated in 1996 that U.S. access to open sources was severely deficient and that this should be a top priority 
For both funding and DCI attention, in July 2004, following the September 11 attacks, the 9-11 Commission recommended the creation of an open source intelligence agency. In March 2005, the Iraq Intelligence Commission recommended the creation of an open source directorate at the CIA. Following these recommendations, in November 2005 the Director of National Intelligence announced the creation of the DNI Open Source Center. The center was established to collect information available from the Internet, databases, press, radio, television, video, geospatial data, photos and commercial imagery. In addition to collecting openly available information, it would train analysts to make better use of this information. The center absorbed the CIA's previously existing Foreign Broadcast Information Service FBIS, originally established in 1941, with FBIS head Douglas Naquin named as director of the center. Then, following the events of 9-11 the Intelligence Reform and Terrorism Prevention Act merged FBIS and other research elements into the Office of the Director of National Intelligence creating the Open Source Enterprise. Furthermore, the private sector has invested in tools which aid in OSINT collection and analysis. Specifically, in QTEL, a central intelligence agency supported venture capital firm in Arlington, Virginia assisted companies develop web monitoring and predictive analysis tools. In December 2005, the Director of National Intelligence appointed Elliot A. Jardines as the Assistant Deputy Director of National Intelligence for Open Source to serve as the intelligence community's Senior Intelligence Officer for Open Source and to provide strategy, guidance and oversight for the National Open Source Enterprise. Mr. Jardines has established the National Open Source Enterprise and authored Intelligence Community Directive 301. In 2008, Mr. Jardines returned to the private sector and was succeeded by Dan Butler who is a DDNI, OS and previously Mr. Jardines' Senior Advisor for Policy. <laughs> <laughs> Risks for practitioners A main hindrance to practical OSINT is the volume of information it has to deal with. Information explosion. The amount of data being distributed increases at a rate that it becomes difficult to evaluate sources in intelligence analysis. Accredited journalists have some protection in asking questions and researching for recognized media outlets. Even so, they can be imprisoned, even executed, for seeking out OSINT. Private individuals illegally collecting data for a foreign military or intelligence agency is considered espionage in most countries. Of course, espionage that is not treason i.e. betraying one's country of citizenship has been a tool of statecraft since ancient times. <laughs> Value OSINT is valuable because it has less rigorous processing and exploitation processes and timelines than more technical intelligence disciplines such as HUMINT, SIGINT, MASINT, GEOINT, etc. Additionally, OSINT collects a valuable variety of opinions because it encompasses a great variety of sources. According to the Commission on the Intelligence Capabilities of the United States regarding Weapons of Mass Destruction report submitted in March 2005, OSINT must be included in the all-source intelligence process for the following reasons as stated in the report. The ever-shifting nature of intelligence needs compels the IC to quickly and easily understand a wide range of foreign countries and cultures. Today's threats are rapidly changing and geographically diffuse, an intelligence analyst may be forced to shift rapidly from one topic to the next. Increasingly, IC professionals need to quickly assimilate social, economic, and cultural information about a country—information often detailed in open sources. Open source information provides a base for understanding classified materials. Despite large quantities of classified material produced by the IC, the amount of classified information produced on any one topic can be quite limited, and may be taken out of context if viewed only from a classified source perspective. 
A notable example relates to terrorism, where open source information can fill gaps and create links that allow analysts to better understand fragmented intelligence, rumored terrorist plans, possible means of attack, and potential targets. Open source materials can protect sources and methods. Sometimes an intelligence judgment that is actually informed with sensitive, classified information can be defended on the basis of open source reporting. This can prove useful when policy makers need to explain policy decisions or communicate with foreign officials without compromising classified sources. Only open source can store history. A robust open source program can, in effect, gather data to monitor the world's cultures and how they change with time. This is difficult, if not impossible, using the snapshots provided by classified collection methods. Topic. Process OSINT is a highly diverse form of intelligence collection and analysis. It does not have its own agency, however, units are scattered within the Department of Defense and the State Department. Most OSINT collectors need to take precautions while collecting information from the Internet. This can come in the form of using a VPN to anonymize their identity and collect information more discreetly. This is where evaluating sources becomes important to the overall OSINT collection and analysis process. An OSINT analyst needs intelligence evaluation to determine a true process or expose a false process that would affect predicting the future. Finally, the analysts need to find use of the evaluated intelligence so that it can be incorporated into a finished classified, unclassified, or proprietary intelligence product. Information collection in OSINT is generally a different problem from collection in other intelligence disciplines where obtaining the raw information to be analyzed may be the major difficulty, particularly if it is to be obtained from non-cooperative targets. In OSINT, the chief difficulty is in identifying relevant, reliable sources from the vast amount of publicly available information. However, this is not as great a challenge for those who know how to access local knowledge and how to leverage human experts who can create new tailored knowledge on the fly. Topic: OSINT community disciplines. Topic: United States Topic. Government There are a large number of open source activities taking place throughout the U.S. government. Frequently, these open source activities are described as media monitoring, media analysis, internet research, and public surveys, but are open source nonetheless. The Library of Congress sponsors the Federal Research Division FRD, which conducts a great deal of tailored open-source research on a fee-for-service basis for the executive branch. <laughs> <laughs> Intelligence The U.S. intelligence community's open source activities known as the National Open Source Enterprise are dictated by Intelligence Community Directive 301 promulgated by the Director of National Intelligence. The directive establishes the authorities and responsibilities of the Assistant Deputy Director of National Intelligence for Open Source ADDNI, OS, the DNI's Open Source Center and the National Open Source Committee. Prior to the establishment of the National Open Source Enterprise, the Foreign Broadcast Information Service FBIS, established in 1941, was the government's primary open source unit, transcribing and translating foreign broadcasts. It absorbed the Defense Department's Joint Publications Research Service JPRS, which did a similar function with foreign printed materials, including newspapers, magazines, and technical journals. Topic. Armed Forces 
The former Undersecretary of Defense for Intelligence, Dr. Stephen Cambone encouraged in part by the Defense Science Board reports on strategic communication and transition to and from hostilities, created the Defense Open Source Program DOSP. The current Undersecretary of Defense for Intelligence is assigned executive agency for this program to the Defense Intelligence Agency. U.S. military offices that engage in OSINT activities include Unified Combatant Command Defense Intelligence Agency National Geospatial Intelligence Agency U.S. Army Foreign Military Studies Office UCOM Jack Molesworth Foreign Media Monitoring in Support of Information Operations, U.S. Strategic Command Topic. Homeland Security The Department of Homeland Security has an active open source intelligence unit. In congressional testimony before the House Homeland Security Committee's Intelligence, Information Sharing and Terrorism Risk Assessment Subcommittee the Undersecretary of Homeland Security Charles Allen indicated on February 14, 2007, that he had established the Domestic Open Source Enterprise to support the department's OSINT needs and that of state, local and tribal partners. Topic: <laughs> Law Enforcement. The law enforcement OSINT community applies open source intelligence OSINT to the prediction, prevention, investigation and prosecution of criminals including terrorists. Additionally, fusion centers around the U.S. are increasingly utilizing OSINT to support their intelligence generation and investigations. Examples of successful law enforcement OSINT include Scotland Yard OSINT, Royal Canadian Mounted Police RCMP OSINT. Interpol and Europol experimented with OSINT units for a time, but they appear to have atrophied with the departure of their individual champions. New York Police Department NYPD is known to have an OSINT unit, as does the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, housed within the Emergency Operations Bureau and affiliated with the LA Joint Regional Intelligence Center. Topic. Business Business OSINT encompasses commercial intelligence, competitor intelligence, and business intelligence, and is often a chief area of practice of private intelligence agencies. Businesses may use information brokers and private investigators to collect and analyze relevant information for business purposes which may include the media, deep web, web 2.0 and commercial content. Topic. Private specialized business assisting the criminal justice field Another related business group within the United States that relies upon OSINT is the commercial bail bond industry. This related industry, servicing the court system, is apart from the above business intelligence sector. OSINT is useful to bail bond agencies that employ a private fugitive recovery agency to locate and apprehend their absent client, i.e., a criminal defendant who has failed to appear for court and subsequently a warrant for arrest was issued. OSINT is the first method of discovery to help locate the defendant when initial interviewing of the bond co-signers, defendants' relatives and friends is lacking. OSINT gathering leads the investigator to discover an alternate hypothesis to analyze and then match relevant data for making a prediction regarding the fugitive's location, e.g., data is scrubbed from web access on Facebook entries, Twitter messages, and Snapchat. Should those methods fail, the next step is to seek the specialized behavioral intelligence services that reference OSINT to aid in establishing the veracity of subjects during the forensic interview and is used to create a behavioral profile. OSINT data is correlated with interview data to include a variety of behavioral patterns, e.g., a list of daily personal contacts, habits of activities, visited places of interest, vehicles used, favorite group involvements, etc. 
According to the director, psychologist and forensic interviewer at MN Behavioral Intelligence Agency 2016 OSINT database has to be critically filtered and analyzed before it can be applied within investigative interviewing and interrogation. Topic: <laughs> Open Source Intelligence Analysis Software There are several categories of tools intended for OSINT analysis. First category is open source tools to query multiple search engines simultaneously as Intel techniques or search engines that provide the results separately as all in one or DuckDuckGo. This category also includes social media search engines and search engines of domains and people as people.com, hoys.net, website.informer. Second category is designed for big data analytics platforms as DataWalk which allow to automatically combine OSINT insight with local, internal data for further visual analysis and search for hidden connections across billions of records. <laughs> See also <laughs>